quick disclaimer this video contains spoilers for the latest chapter of Black Clover. So remember, you have been warned. Hello there, guys, it's Ubulkaun here, back in another video, and today I'm going to do what if Astala trained by Goku, part 13. Hope you enjoy it. So a bit of recap is needed because last part was a month ago. So last part we covered what happened if Asta was in a Broly movie. And it went as it got expected. With Asta almost as strong as Vegeta and Goku in this scenario. And emphasis in almost. He was the one to fight Broly first. And it went similar to Vegeta against Broly in the movie. With Asta utilizing his base form then Kaioken leading up to his god form. And then give him the upper hand until Broly got in his wrathful state. And literally stomp on Asta. And then make Vegeta intervene using his Super Saiyan Blue state, saving Asta and telling him to withdraw. And that did us to Vegeta fighting Broly. And they are somewhat equal but Vegeta still having the upper hand. Until Frieza fight a death being through Pelagos chest making Broly go Super Saiyan. And that forced Goku and Asta to join Vegeta using the Super Saiyan Blue form and Black God form respectively. And they were able to hold him off somewhat until he powered up even further forcing Goku and Vegeta to run away or strategically redraw. But Asta did decided to stay with Noel just in case he need to protect her and for the next hour and almost a half Frieza was fighting Broly alone then when he saw Asta and Noel and Bulma he decided to use the same trick that they used on him so Asta was forced to fight Broly and he got Yamshed in 5 seconds flat and Frieza realized that he had nothing to lose so he threw a death ball toward the earth but Asta was able to cancel it even overpower it using Omen Ultra Instinct and for a couple of minutes Asta was forced to fight Broly and Frieza at the same time and with Luis constantly healing him. At the same time as Gogeta arrived on the battlefield, Asta transformed to his master ultra instinct and Gogeta decided to not play around, he powered the Super Saiyan Blue and they quickly dealt with full power Super Saiyan Broly. And Asta did land some good hits on Frieza making him run with his tail between his legs. Then Asta passed out because he's way over his limits. And plus Luis was done healing him. And I think that's it for summary and it's pretty long so... Let's just begin with this part. So it's next day. Asta is still recovering from using Ultra Instinct. But now they have to deal with Broly, Chilai and Lemo. At first they are thinking of taking a ship and fly back to Vampa. But they don't think that is safe. So Bama suggests for them to stay on Earth. They have more than enough room for them. And Goku and Vegeta second that. Because hey, he's a strong fighter. He will be a great sparring partner. In the other hand, Noel is still worried about Asta. But Bama assures her that he will be fine. That her boyfriend will be up shortly. Noel face turn red, tell her that he's not her boyfriend. Burma replied by asking her, but don't you want him to be? Noel calm down and tell her, I did not say that. So Burma smile and tell her, so you want him? Noel stays silent, then Burma approach her and put her hand on the shoulder and tell her, judging how Asta act, he's almost like a Saiyan. So word of advice, when you try to comfort a Saiyan, you must be blunt as possible. Because judging how Asta react around you, I'm pretty sure he have the same feelings for you. He just need an extra push to reveal his true feelings. No one tell her that she would think about that. So let's go back for Asta. He's been out cold for a few hours. During this time he's having a weird dream. In the dream he's getting beat up by a bunch of devils. Then somehow he's in a living world. And he's getting attacked by magic knights. Then he meets a human that is just a female version of him. But for some reason he senses this warmth coming from her. Then he sees that he's living with her as her son. Then one day he sees his reflection on the water and see a demon. And he resembles a lot the demon that live inside his grimoire because they have almost the same hairstyle and the last thing that he saw before he wake up is that human screaming at someone is named Lucifer telling him to leave him alone then she got a hand through her chest and to top it all off he got sealed inside the grimoire Asta wake up having a mini panic attack but he quickly calmed down then he realized that he's crying then he looked at grimoire and start thinking are those your memories? But Asta need answers right now. So he gear up and went straight to the group. Everyone was happy to see him finally awake. And before she realized what she's doing, Noel jumped on Asta and gave him a hug. Then she finally noticed it and backs off. 
but this time she just blushed. She didn't attack Asta. Asta quickly snapped out of what just happened and he asked Durup if he can use the Dragon Balls. They tell him sure. They hand over the Dragon Balls and summon Shenron. Okay, let's hope this work. Internal Shenron, there is a demon that is sealed inside my grimoire. Can you release him? Shenron nod and do just that. The grimoire start flying and out popped the demon and he's as shocked as the others. Then he asked Asta why did he do this? Asta replied by giving him a hug that shocked everyone that Asta tell him. Your name is Li Bei, am I right? The demon or Li Bei is shocked and tell him how do you know my name? I never told you. Asta explained that when he was unconscious he saw his memories and he know why he have this much hatred for the demons. Plus he deserved his freedom, he did nothing wrong. Then Li Bei tell him I'm a demon, what do you think? Asa cut him off and tell him even if you are a demon it doesn't mean you are a bad guy. Then Li Bei got a flashback of that woman telling him the same thing and he tried his best to hold his tears. Li Bei tried to say something but to the surprise of everyone Piccolo shut him off and tell him yo kid give yourself another chance. Li Bei look at him and Piccolo tell him you're looking at someone that was called the son of demon king so then Goku scratch back over his head and tell him yeah he, I think he's right and he start laughing then Asta tell him you want revenge on that Lucifer am I right? Li Bei looked at Asta and tell him yes Asta nod then he looked at the others and ask if he can spend two or three days inside the room spirit and time they want to try something they tell him sure just don't overdo it then Goku chime in and tell him for now let your body rest you still didn't fully recover Plus, your friend over here still need to learn how to use his key before he enter with you, am I right? Asta nod, then Nibi tell them that he was practicing how to use key inside the grimoire, but it's a bit different using it inside the grimoire and outside of it. But at least he have a general idea. So Asta spend the rest of the day training Nibi how to use key. No one in the other hand realize how far behind Asta she really is. And if she wants to get justice for her mom, she needs to get strong ASAP. Then it hit her, Asta is going to use the room tomorrow. So so maybe she can use it today. Piccolo was able to read the look on Noel's face. So he took her aside and asked her what's wrong. She tell him maybe she's thinking of using the room spirit and time. Because she feel weak compared to Asta. Piccolo said alright get ready we are going right now. Piccolo start flying then he tell her to hurry along. So she follow him. Goku and Vegeta pick up on that. But Asta didn't because he's busy with the Liba. So fast forward a few hours which is almost 90 days inside the room spirit and time. So Goku instant transmission mission to the lookout and he got inside the room and he saw no one fighting Piccolo. You can see that she's getting used to 10 times normal gravity. So two of them sense Goku's key, they stop and took a break. Ask him what he's doing here. Goku smile and tell them to lend a hand. So with that Goku spent two months or four hours in real time then he leave them alone. So with that let's say fast forward few hours, Asta gear up same as Li Bei and they are heading straight to the lookout. And when they arrive they only met Dende. Piccolo and Noel already left so Asta didn't know that no well trained and that will be important later. So two of them went inside the room and Libby's torture begins. So at first Libby started having trouble because he's still a novice to how to use key. Second, the gravity is 10 times what he used to. So let's say after 5 or 6 months he started getting used to this gravity and this came with a massive power boost for him. And I put him in the middle of the freezer arc tier. I know it's weak compared to the others but it's a massive jump for him. Asta keep training him until he gives up then he continues was training along, further mastering his skills. Then then fast forward two days or two years inside the hyperbolic time chamber and when Asta exit needless to say he's above Goku in terms of power for now so not kill me in comment section he just spent three years training for Goku and Vegeta it's only been three days and to tell the truth how far ahead Asta is because when Goku and Vegeta enter the room spirit and time during the universe 6 tournament Vegeta said even if they train for three years they will not grow a lot because they are already at their peak but during the Goku black arc he only trained for half a day or so and he easily whooped the floor with Goku Black in their next fight. So once again, I don't know what to do. So I'm going to focus on making this story fun and entertaining. So let's say Asta is twice as strong as Goku. When they return to the group, Asta decided to go back to his world to just check on them because it's been a few days. And Noel decided to go back with him. So Asta extended his hand, Noel took it, and the instant transmission back to their world. And they went straight to the Black Bulls lookout. Everyone is happy to see them. Then they realize that Noel is a bit different. She 
she gains some muscles not too much to change her appearance but if you look closely you will notice them and yami empty pickup on noel high power level and he starts asking himself what type of training did she did then yami tell asta to go see the wizard king because last time he saw him he informed if he come back to go see him right away asta nod he put two fingers on his forehead and instant transmission to the wizard king the wizard king was startled because asta just pop up from nowhere so he tell him next time please use the door or at least inform us before you just do this asta scratch back with his head and tell him yes sorry about that sir but you asked to see me wizard king tell him yeah but why did you bring noel with you asta tell him noel then he looked at his left then he realized that he didn't let go of noel's hand and noel's face is beef red asta quickly let go of her hand and apologize for that she tell him to don't worry about that and both of them are blushing a lot then the wizard king interrupt their flirting and tell them i'm glad to see you two finally getting along but asta i need you to do something for me what do you need sir the wizard can reply i need you to beat or to show your power to the rest of the knights asta tell him show my power the wizard can nod and tell him with the threat of demon that loom over us it seems that you are our only hope and by showing how far ahead you are from the others i hope that will mo motivate them to get stronger Asta reply sure but if you want to show them how strong the demons are compared to them I have the perfect guy for this mission Wizard can reply you do who Asta tell him I will be right back so instant transmission back to Goku's world and bring back Leba with him at first Leba was a bit hesitant because they still hit devils but with Asta constant nagging he just gives up in the end so they go back to their world and they are surprised to see a devil there Asta explain who Leba is but he didn't tell them everything about his backstory he only tell them that he's against devils so he's with them plus he's a good guy then asa tell wizard king if he want to show the rest of the knights how far or how strong the demons are let libe fight them the wizard king was a bit hesitant because everything's a bit shaky after what happened with the elves and nervine there is a demon all heck will break loose so tell me yeah i think you're right sorry libe i dragged you all over here for nothing libe just put his hand on asta's shoulder and tell him it's all right just take me back i'm still training with piccolo so Asa tell him sure and he instant transmission out of there in a few moments he returns and tell them okay original plan so I have to fight the magic knights Judas nod and tell him give me an hour after an hour all the magic knights and their captains were teleported to a deserted area Mushroom had thanked them for being here and tell them this is going to be a test with the threat of the demons looming ahead of us all the magic knights need to get stronger even their captains that's why in this train we are going to demonstrate what type of power you are going to face and it will happen by all of you fighting one guy asta land and tell them it's me most of the knights start laughing hysterically because he's from the black bulls he's the worst of the worst and they don't sense any mana coming out of him one of the knights decide to play along and put his hand on asta's head and tell him oh my god you are so strong asta smirk grab him by the color of his shirt and launch him like a rocket everyone is just dumbfounded then they slowly lower their head toward asta asta crack his knuckles and tell them all right who's next everyone start getting serious after asta display of power so asta jumped back to create some distance and every magic knight fired the long range attacks at asta do you guys remember the time piccolo fight under 17 in a injectable zia bridge and he start dodging all his attacks and imagine asta doing just that after that you know charge at asta full force using his spirit of zephyr mode so he swing his sword and asta catches it with two fingers then he broke it everyone are in awe with asta's power and when seen you know fail every magic knight attack asta with the black bulls and some from the golden dawn helping them and all this time noel did not move an inch meanwhile asta is just showing how broken he is compared to the others yami even used his dimension slash against asta but asta simply powered up creating a barrier of key around him protecting him from the attack then a voice behind noel tell her what she's doing you look behind her and see piccolo goku and vegeta they just arrived to see asta's fight especially after libe tell them about what is going to happen then piccolo tell her what she's doing shouldn't he supposed to go help her friends she tell him yeah but i know i'm not a match for asta so why should i try then piccolo tell her so that's it because he's stronger than you you will give up you don't even try think of it as a lesson you don't give up even if your opponent is stronger than you because will you forgive yourself if you don't even try no one close her eyes take a deep breath and then power up then she launched herself toward asta and asta was stunned with this sudden increase in power so they start clashing with asta having heavily holding back but he's still impressed nonetheless meanwhile every magic knight and their captains are shocked 
especially Yami because he's the only one that can sense key. Then Astar start powering up even further, pushing a while to use her Valkyrie dress or Valkyrie armor, whatever name you prefer. So with this increase in speed, Noel was able to keep up with Astar for a little while until he decided to let out more of his power. Then he delivered a Ferris kick to Noel, sending her crashing to the ground. Astar thought that he overdid it. Then suddenly Noel burst from the ground. Then she yelled, Kaioken. A red aura surrounded her and her Valkyrie just turned red. And with this sudden increase in power, Asta was taken off guard and Noel delivered a fierce punch to his stomach, sending him flying. Asta was impressed, then he asked her how did she learn the Kaioken. She explained that she learned it from Goku while she was in a hyperbolic time chamber. But she cannot spam it like Asta if she used it to her max. But she still can handle lower multipliers. Asta tell her, so you want to continue? Noel shook her head and tell him, that was everything I got. I can barely keep flying right now. And right when she said that, she jumped from her Valkyrie dress and stumbled a bit. But before she collect herself, Asta carry her and tell her, let me give you a hand. She blushed and Asta put her on the ground. He tell her to rest up. Then he look at the rest of the knights and tell them, right, who's next? Mushroom head tell him, I think that's enough. I think they realized that they have to get stronger, much stronger. Asta was a bit bummed because he want to fight. Then Goku jump in and tell him, if you want to fight, I'm here. Plus, I'm excited to see how much you have grown. As the smirk and tell him alright, two of them fly up and they start fighting in their base form. And it's clear that Asta's having the upper hand. So Goku power up to Super Saiyan. Asta smirk and start using Kaioken. Time is 20. He was able to close the gap somewhat, but Goku still have the slight edge over him. Asta smirk and tell him, alright, what about this? Kaioken times 30. Goku was shocked because Asta was able to push the Kaioken limit to 30. And with this, he's stronger than him in Super Saiyan. So he transformed to Super Saiyan 2. Then Asta pushed Kaioken even further, time is 50. So if Asta is twice as strong as Goku right now, which Kaioken times 50, he's as strong as him in Super Saiyan 2. The problem is this multiplier take a huge toll on Asta's body. But doing the fight for a fraction of a second, he power up even further. Kaioken times 60. Just to get the upper hand on Goku, bash him straight in the gut, send him flying, and immediately fire a full power Kamehameha. That forced Goku to go Super Saiyan 3. Everyone is shocked to see Deku's new form, but Yami is devastated. He's almost as white as a sheet. The other captains ask him what's wrong. He tell them if we are going against people that are stronger than this, we are in big trouble. I cannot sense an end for his key. Then as I go back to his base, he starts screaming and power up to his god form. Goku do the same thing and they clash once again and the earth starts shaking. But Asta is still having the upper hand. So Goku take it further and power up to Super Saiyan Blue. Asta smirk and tell him I was waiting for this. He stopped powering up another red aura go on top of his god aura. And he yelled Kaioken times 10. Goku, Vegeta and Piccolo are impressed. Asta was not slack enough during the 3 days that he spent training with Libe. Goku go on his stand and tell Asta, I'm really proud of you Asta. I cannot believe you are the same kid that I was training a couple years ago. Now show me what you got. Two of them fly toward each other and they start exchanging blows. With Goku holding back of course. And Asta really has mid fight that he cannot beat Goku with sheer force. So he have to strategize. He start instant transmission around Goku. And for a fraction of a second he power up to Kaioken times 20 and fire a massive Kamehameha toward Goku. Luckily Goku was expecting that. He power up to Kaioken and easily deflect the blast. Then he charged toward Asta delivering a fierce punch to the gut, making him drop from his gut form. And Asta for afraid because that punch did quite a number on him. And they fly back to the group. And I think I'm going to stop it right here. So what do you think of it guys? Will the Magic Knight learn from this experience? What will happen next? Give your thoughts in comments down below. And if you like it, drop a like and like always guys. Peace.